Hey, what's up guys? One Veracity here, and as always, I have a great video for you guys today. So today we have another pair of Balenciagas. I know I just did that in my last video, so I felt like I could keep on the trend and show you guys these. Now, this pair is one that I've worn almost as much as any of my pairs of sneakers. I wear them all the time, and they still look great. So just keep that in mind. These are worn, but they've been worn heavily. They've been worn out, you know, nights out. They've been worn to concerts. They've been worn a lot of places, and they still look great. So let's get into it. Um, as always with Balenciaga, you just have that same uh, as last time, that plain white box with Balenciaga right there. I really think it brings an air of class to the shoes with the focus really being on what's inside the box and not the box. Um, usually I love complicated boxes, but here I just think this is the perfect setting to have a luxury pair of sneakers inside. So then we have the dust bag. As you know, you guys know, I don't keep my shoes in the dust bag, but always a nice added touch. Just uh, more a little bit off-white, not as pure of a white as the box, with the black lettering there. So always a nice touch, kind of something I would expect for shoes this high end, but uh, it's always great to have, right? Then we have the pair of sneakers, the most important part, obviously. Now these are the, uh, the triple black uh, Balenciaga arenas. Uh, with the uh, with the Stingray embossing on them. So I'll get into that as I show the sneakers. So this is my first pair of arenas that I got. Um, the first pair of Balenciagas that I ever got were the all red high tops. Then I got these, and since I love these so much, I moved on and got the blue ones that I showed in the last video. Now, the reason I got this pair is because even though I have my Louboutins, um, I wanted something that I could, was all black, was luxury, but that was a little more wearable. You know, those shoes have the spikes all over them, and while I love that, you can't exactly wear that everywhere, nor would you really want to for a shoe at that expense on a hand. You kind of want to reserve it for special occasions, right? These shoes, on the other hand, while they're very expensive, I knew that they were going to be very durable for all the reasons that I mentioned in the other video that I'll reiterate in this video in case uh, you guys didn't see that. Um, but also, that was a little chiller of a shoe, one that you could wear in a lot of settings uh, that didn't stand out as much, but still, if you did notice them, complemented an outfit really well, and uh, just worked as a great kind of everyday shoe, whether you're going out to the store to pick up you know, some groceries or you're going out to the club. Uh, so let's get into the review. It's uh, pretty simple because they're all black, but we'll still go through it. Um, so the upper is all you know that premium leather, but the difference on these is that they have an embossing to make it look like what Stingray would. So, you know, I swam with Stingrays on vacation once, so I'd feel a little bad about wearing them on my feet, but that's why it's nice because you get that high-end look, but with um, but with just it being leather. I never never swam with any cows, so don't feel bad about that. <laughs> um, then, uh, as you can see, you know, there are, there is some signs of wear, like right there, um, but overall they still just look in great condition. Again, the reason for that is because of the short toe. So you're not going to see any creasing here because, you know, the toe is so short that where your foot breaks, um, it doesn't have that typical toe box creasing. Um, then you can see the, uh, the little lace lock right there. You know, still in really good shape, in black with that diamond plating almost on there. Then you go up the shoe and you have all black laces, you know, black wax flat laces. The, uh, the eyelets on this shoe are, again, all black, keeping with that triple black, black everywhere. I'm so glad they didn't do any touches of anything else, no silver, nothing, because I just think going with the all black really keeps it consistent and uh, looks great with any number of colors of outfits. Then you go on the back, you have the pull tab up there. Again, the embossing is on the entire upper, including on this back leather strip there. The interior of the shoe is has a leather uh, liner and uh, then has a black footbed as well. The sides, now you do have a little bit of gloss here, which I do like, so it creates a distinction between you know the upper of the shoe and um, you know the ground, so it stands out a little bit, but it's a great way using black in a new way to have you know a little shine to the shoe, right, if the light hits it properly. Then you have the tread up here, um, or the texture at least, and you know that matches as on all Balenciaga arenas with the pad back here. On the bottom, you again, you see a little bit of that, the shininess right there, the tread, and uh, you can see Balenciaga again, written in all black letters right there. So this is a pretty simple shoe, um, one that you can literally wear with anything. Um, and you know, one that I've had in my, I've had for what, I think about two years now, and I've worn them many, many, many times. And I think that they still look great. Um, I actually just wore them out on, on Saturday night. So they're just a great pair of shoes. Again, I'd highly recommend the Balenciaga arenas for a shoe that, while expensive, is something that you can incorporate if you purchase, you know, the right colorway into your everyday wardrobe, and you're going to get a lot of wear out of. I can basically guarantee that. Um, just a shoe that looks great, high end, 
you know, mixing it with some lower and some streetwear stuff. So I uh, couldn't say enough positive things about them. And, uh, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And I'll send you back soon to do another one. Thanks, guys.